Street Fighter Bomber took France and Northwest Europe as expected. And I think that was their only battles. Yeah, that was their only battles. They held off on Egypt because it was not a profitable battle there. And uh, this is what we're setting up. You know, I know the last one was a silent turn, but uh, this is where we're heading. He's continuing to keep pressure in the different points. And the U.S. fleet, as you may have noticed, appears to be signaling that they're going to switch this over into a transitional KGF, which, you know, you, you think about it, it seems like, well, they're way behind, but also Japan's way behind because they spent all this money on these boats, right? So, <clears throat> you know, it's definitely a, a very viable chance. So I was initially, last turn, I was setting up for a potential G13, or excuse me, round 13 victory city win, but then I just realized this navy is going to come here, and so this, I was thinking there's only going to be two U.S. transports to worry about, but really we're going to have five transports worth to have to worry about at the U.S. there. And then they're coming um, 13, 14, they can be hitting the med. So I want to get as many Japan fighters over into Europe on 13 as I can, because I am going to go ahead and put as much pressure on Russia as I can on G14. So I want to get as many Japan fighters as I can here on 12, here on 13, and then they can be down in Italy on 14 to help hopefully stack Italy, and I'm hoping to eventually get a uh, France stack and hopefully shut down the uh, U.S. approach there. I know it's a lot of hopefully because there's a lot of unpredictable. Uh, Emre is a great player on the board. So what I don't want to let happen is for them to turn right back around here and just, you know, get back to where we were. So I'm going to keep these two dead zoned with my fleet. I'm going to bring my fleet to 52. I do need to be mindful. These fighters go one, two, three, one, two, three, four, land. Um, these fighters can only go can't reach there they go one two three four in the air so I need to be mindful of seven fighters and three uh, two bombers so I do need two fighters in range of 54 I need all ten fighters to be in range of 56 to dead zone these two particular spots with my fleet sitting here uh, my whole fleet should be fine against the seven fighters two bombers I was thinking I was going to have to do 10 fighters, 2 bombers. So my surface fleet should be fine with my 7, 8, 9, 10, not that guy, 11 uh, ships. And I'm going to need, what did make this a little bit interesting, whoa, 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 come back, sorry. What did make this a little interesting is because U.S. owns these islands here. These bombers can go one, two, three, four, five, six. And really, there's a lot of places these bombers can go for and still land on one of these islands. So I can't have any naked transports running around. So I am going to take this one back to start to protect the uh, Japan sea vines as well as start to make our own move. Now, the good news is we do have that one in our hands. So that helps with our dead zone. But we don't need our bombers to help dead zone at least this turn. So we're going to bring the bombers up to the Russian and Egyptian front this next turn. Also, because on U.S.'s last turn, They bought transports and a bomber, so they aren't so focused on um, defending or building in the Pacific anymore. So I don't need to build in the Pacific because I got that advantage. Uh, we'll work on using this fleet later. Right now we're just going to prevent the return to a KJF, and uh, we'll work on the fleet later. I am going to still put pressure for the 13 Victory City by 
threatening to take Hawaii on 13 as well. But my builds is going to be all geared towards pushing Japan and Egypt, Africa, and towards Russia now. So we're going to have six infantry and a tank. So we got one, two, we're going to have three, four here still sitting here this turn. We are building three transports, which will jump us straight to five transports. We'll have four sitting here. We're going to be building four people plus the two plus these two that they'll be able to grab next turn. And we're going to put a tank in India to help pressure up this way with our um, bombers coming. So the, meanwhile, Germany is going to continue to pull back and hold pressure on Russia until they need to pull back all the way back. I am hoping pulling my Germans back and Germans forward and hopefully going to stack West Russia and Caucasus next turn means on UK on so on G13 on UK 13 he's going to need to get all these fighters pushed forward so if he's pushing them forward on UK 13 they cannot hit Africa so hopefully Africa will be safe with all these planes and such and us having 11 infantry there I know that's a lot of hopeful, hopeful, hopefuls, but Two, three, four, five. We can land them all in here. And then if German pulls back, we'll have eight, we'll have three. That might not be a good idea to land there. Let's be safe and just use one. bring the other three to India like my original plan was. Problem is I, if I pull these Germans out then on UK's turn he'll have eight fighters, nine fighters, and a bomber at least that could hit it. And that would be profitable versus three infantry and four bombers sitting there, right? So we don't want all these going. Now if we take it without getting a hit back then we can just land them. Actually, we can't just land them here. Hmm. So we are going to use just one.
Give me a six. Give me a six. What do you like? Sixes. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Well. Guess I should have sent two infantry after all. And let Egypt weaken a little bit. Dang it. So now I have to worry about tank blitz and fighters. That's why. I was hoping for no hit back. Now he rolls the six. Of course. Oh, I guess he got a hit back. I didn't see it. Dang it. Think about landing there. How silly of me. So in story, I think our best shot is going to be taking a shot on Moscow on G14, stacking Berlin and Italy, and uh, going ahead and accepting taking Moscow with Germany. 
and just keep expanding until we can get a victory city block. Because I'll be able to bomb Moscow out to smithereens next turn. The fact that he put fighters here and here rather than here. Well, okay, no, this one can still reach, but this one can't reach. Might be just the little bit of trade that I need to give me a window. So there we go.